Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Bozza here, and I'm at Bonita Bay Club. So I have relocated to Florida. I'm very happy. The weather is glorious. But I, I have a video here to do a review on the DT TrueSoft. So my intention was to do it in the cold, damp, wet conditions of the southwest of England to kind of give you an insight into whether this ball is viable to use in the winter you know because I use a Chrome Soft X it's like this ball is meant to have a slightly lower compression so it should be feeling similar is it viable to use in the winter obviously I came over here so that's ruined it a little bit but I haven't forgotten about you so I did use it for a few holes out here and I just give you kind of some feedback on what I felt about it and um, I haven't done any data you know I haven't had the launch monitor out because it just had to hit so many balls but this ball what did I think of it uh, driver irons like long irons I'm not seeing any difference and um, did it sound a little different yes it's it's slightly clickier than the chrome soft that I use but you've got to expect that you know they're a different price point a very different material used on the cover but in terms of performance I'm kind of not seeing any. I, I hit one four iron, there's a par three about 210. I hit this flighted down four iron and I thought it was brilliant. You know, I could have been using a premium ball. This one, perfect ball flight, really, really happy. Just wanted to let you know I hit a good four iron. So in terms of the top end, not a problem. Wedge shots in and around the green, I actually found I could still stop the ball. So the greens are quite soft here in Florida. Um, if you're playing in the winter, you're going to be softer in the UK. So in terms of being able to get it to stop, yes, I was able to do that. Um, again, the contact in the feel, not so nice compared to the Chrome Soft that I use. Um, as you would expect, like I said, different price point, but definitely a usable ball. Putting, the ball almost feels a bit lighter than the ball I use. And again, it, we, as golfers, we take a lot from the what it sounds like. So again, in terms of performance, not too bad. Would I be switching to it? No. Would I use it in the winter if I was playing with friends? Yes. You know, the durability of this ball is fantastic and I would be happy to use it. I'm not seeing any massive changes in ball flight in my longer irons. Um, one thing I would like to mention is a wet golf ball can change the spin. It changes it quite a bit. A premium ball, so like I say, I'm a Callaway Chrome Soft, the Pro V1. Very good balls that will maintain some of that spin. You know, the water will negatively affect them, but at the rates in which it happens with a premium ball, far less than with a ball like this. So if you're playing in competitions, I would bear that in mind. The more expensive ball, if that's the one that you use normally, is probably going to be a bit more predictable than this one. But if you're out playing with friends, with the durability, it feels nice enough. I would definitely be considering it if you think you can save yourself a bit of money. So then when you get into the new season, you got a nice little pot, a nice little nest egg to make 2018 your year. Thanks for watching. Get some comments down below. This ball has been out for a few months now, or maybe a month, so you've probably had a go with it. Get your comments down. How do you feel like it is different to one that you use in the summer if you use a more expensive ball? And why do you change? Is it just price point? Or do you have another reason for doing it in the winter? Love to hear what you've got to say. Hope to catch you soon.